Viva La Raza indeed is today on the channel. We're unboxing the WWE Elite Mattel Creations exclusive five pack LWO. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Creations exclusive unboxing and review and today on the channel we got the LWO 5 pack with Cruz Del Toro, Joaquin Wilde, Zelina Vega, Rey Mysterio, don't call him Junior, and Santos Escobar. But for all your Mattel Creation exclusives, Hit up Mattel Creations, but for everything else under the sun, hit up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10%. And currently, this is shipping from Mattel Creations right now. Would not be shocked to see this on Ringside if it already isn't on Ringside. We've seen a lot of shared exclusives between the two companies. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, if it's not up there right now, I would assume in the future probably will be. But this was part of that made-to-order uh, thing that Mattel Creations started doing. Now, a lot of people are a little bit uh, disenchanted with this as they did pre-order this eight months ago, nine months ago, ten months ago. What is time? I don't know what it is. Uh, but we pre-ordered it. They took our money and then we saw this go up. I think it went up on WWE.com maybe in their shop for a little bit and maybe ringside as well and then back on Mattel Creations I think even. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that and a little bit of the other and then there was a delay on this. It was supposed to come out August 1st. Now we're into September so there was a month delay along the way here. We did see the final boxed image at San Diego, San Diego Comic Con and now here we are today with the five pack in our hands ready to be unboxed. And of course we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other ones on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. Beautiful big box set. The last couple of years with Mattel, we've been getting back in the box set games. Targets, Walmarts, both having box sets and Mattel Creations as well. Very colorful pack right here. Would look amazing autographed. If you're an autograph collector, this would be an amazing set to get everybody's autograph on. Would really be a showcase piece in your collection, I would have to imagine there. But five elites all at once, that's a pretty good day at the office. Of course, Rey Mysterio, very minimalistic here, and I'm okay with that as well. Let's let some other people shine for a little bit. But a couple of characters in here that might not get elites without a box set like this. And box sets, like I said, we're seeing a lot more of them. How cool would it be to see more faction box sets? Of course, Target exclusive back in the day of the Horsemen we got. We've seen the Maya Villa one. We, of course, got the Head Shrinkers with Roman Reigns around the corner. The Ruthless Aggression Era pack that's at Walmarts right now. We've seen the Hulk Hogan packs. But what if we could get a uh, the Bariquas 5-pack back in the Attitude Era? Or 8-Ball uh, and Chains and Crush and the rest of the gang over there, a little Brian Lee action. That would be pretty cool. Even a Nation of Domination. Give us another outfits for some of those guys. Let's get a Nation box set together. There's a lot of cool stuff they could do with these box sets, especially being a Mattel Creations or Ringside Collectible Exclusive. Would love to see more of that in the future. But let's look at the packaging on this one right here. As you can see, five characters spread out in the package. Beautiful LWO design going on here, looking very, very nice. And then you got Zelina Vega right there in the middle showing that big flag, of course, that she had. Was that the Puerto Rican flag, I believe? Puerto Rican power, like Ween once sang many years ago. Shout out to the boys in Ween over there. Shout out to good friend of the channel, Dean Ween. Hopefully Dean uh, gets better soon. So shout out to Dean Ween, of course. Uh, but looking good there. Got their names all down below. The Elite logo, LWO up in the corner here. WWE logo in the other corner. Viva La Raza right there at the top center, of course. The war cry of one Eddie Guerrero, as we know. LWO on the top. Jibber and Jabber and a UPC on the bottom right there. On the side, Elite Collection. And then a family portrait right there. I think they went to their local Sears, got their family portrait done. It was amazing time. An amazing time, of course. On the back of the package, there's a real-world action shot of them. LWO logo, Elite logo. And then we got a little bit of War and Peace over there. Let's read the back. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's happening here. Viva La Raza, indeed. Rey Mysterio lived a life full of ups and downs. Isn't that to be said about most wrestlers? WrestleMania 39, I was there, would celebrate his legacy by inducting him into the WWE Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, it was also marred by his son Dominic and his new running buddies, The Judgment Day. But a fiery faction of lightning 
Quick Luchadors had his back. Santos, Escobar, Zelina Vega, Joaquin Wilde, and Cruz del Toro, collectively known as Legado del Fantasma, NXT legends, of course, helped the Hall of Famer even the odds. The Camadre reminded Ray of another group from his past, one from his WCW days, a faction of luchadors formed by the inspirational and unforgettable Eddie Guerrero to unite under one banner. How amazing would it be to get a box set of luchadors from WCW? Oh, man, take my money right now. With the future of Lucha Libre before him and in memory of Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio reformed the Latino World Order, also known as the LWO. The faction came out in full force at Backlash 2023 in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Shout out, beautiful this time of year. Cementing their place as one of the most memorable groups in the history of WWE. I don't know if I'd go that far, uh, but it was very cool. The night of Rey's Hall of Fame. I was actually there. Uh, I was at the Staples Center. I think that's where it was. A Hall of Fame night. Of course, SmackDown, then the Hall of Fame. I actually got lucky that night. I said, I'm going to get a ticket at the last minute. That's what you got to do. Most things, wait till the last minute, get your ticket. It was $7 I got in on a Skybox seat. Or was it, it was either $7 or $17. Either way, absolutely ridiculous. I was the only one in the Skybox, and it had food and drinks in there. So quite the night living there. Uh, I did film it for the video on the channel way back when, so check out that video if you missed it. But quite the night at the Hall of Fame. But then I remember at the Hall of Fame that night is where that LWO shirt came out. Saw the group uh, reconvene is what they did do that night. An amazing night, of course. See you later. Goodbye. And I'm here for it. I love a good faction. It's a way to get name identity for some of these guys. Look at that little plastic piece here. See you later off to the side. Uh, I just think it helps build up other talent. Then, of course, you eventually have the breakout. And then it goes from there. And we've seen that since then. Of course, Santos Escobar fighting for the evil side these days, as we know. But there they are in the plastic prison. But I'm going to take all these guys and one gal out of the package. And we'll be back talking all things LWO box set. All right, let's get down to business, LWO business. Let's start it with ladies first, like we always do. Shout out to the ladies out there. Let's start off with Zelina Vega, of course, the female of the group here. Zelina represent, we've had a few figures over the years, a couple of basics, or at least one basic that I remember. And then, of course, we've got a couple of elites of her as well. We'll show some of that. We'll do some of those comparisons along the way. But we get the two splayed out hands. Nice attention to detail. She does got some uh, tattoo ink on her hands here. Of course, she is... Is, uh, married to our friend Alistair Black, aka Malachi Black, these days. One of the most tattooed men in wrestling, and she's following suit a little bit right there. But two splayed out hands ready to go. And then the selling point for a lot of people on this one is this big, I guess we'll call it kind of a cape. I guess it's like a young Lando Calrissian with a cape right here. I thought bendy wire in here, but it looks like just a little piece of plastic. But of course, you put her hands in there, you're ready to go. It looks like it has. Yeah, it's got like one of those uh, rubber band kind of things right here. You put her hands, slip them through there. She's got the Puerto Rican flag ready there. Looking very, very nice. A very nice ornate detail here, but really makes this one pop. Unfortunately, you got to take space into consideration here. This will be a little bit of a shelf killer. However, you put her kind of in the front, and maybe you display the other ones kind of behind the flag. I think that's the way it goes. It's interesting because I believe, once again, Puerto Rican flag, Puerto Rican power, once again, to wean out there. Uh, very interesting because uh, the rest of these guys aren't necessarily Puerto Rican. So I guess it's Latino World Order, whatever way you want to go right there. But a nice flag, nice addition. Would imagine we'll see this in the future again. So I guess we'll stay tuned for that in the future. But now we got Zelina Vega right here. And this Zelina, very small. She is a short wrestler, of course, as we do know. Uh, but feels a little bit more meaty. Is that the right word? I don't know. But a very beautiful smiling face on here. Definitely looks like Zelina Vega. They knocked it out of the park on the head sculpt on this one. Very interesting. Blue and white hair. I don't know if we've ever had a blue-haired uh, figure before. But here we are. She's rocking Puerto Rico throughout in the uh, outfit here. Almost like Wonder Woman Puerto Rico style is what it looks like to me. You got the forearm guards into the arm guards here in blue and then white, a little red. little color to it there, looking very nice. Got knee pads there, very colorful. Very colorful shoes as well. Zelina rocking it all right here with this figure. Very, very nice details on this one. And I'm only going to walk through the articulation on one of these figures because it is all the same as we do know. But a good looking figure. This could be the showstopper, the scene stealer of this set. A lot of pizzazz with this one as we can see right here does say on the bottom, made in Vietnam. Oh, shout out to Vietnam. Difficult times in Vietnam back in the day, as we do know. Uh, we'll never forget our friend Jesse Ventura and his service over there. Jesse, getting it done, of course, over there in Nam. Uh, but looking good. Zelina, getting it done right here. A very, very nice figure. I did bring a Zelina to compare it to. Was this her last elite, possibly? Queen Zelina Vega. 
Feels like her new one is a little bit thicker, thicker throughout, and that could just be the color differences. I'm not exactly sure, or maybe the bigger head there with all the hair, but definitely good. She's had a lot of good elite figures. This one does continue that process right there with old Zelina Vega from the LWO box set. So there it is. There's Zelina. Now we're going to move over to our friend Cruz del Toro, and I would say he's the one probably the least known of the bunch here. As we know, Joaquin Wild uh, used to be DJ Z back in the TNA days, and Zelina's been around, and obviously Rey Mysterio and Santos as well. But Cruz del Toro, maybe the sleeper agent, maybe the sleeper guy of the crew right here, looking very nice. Of course, two fists of fury, LWO fury out of the package, two gripping hands right here. So we're ready to go with old Cruz del Toro, looking very nice. First thing you notice is the head sculpt on him here, got a little bit of a sly look to him there, a little bit of beard action as well. He does got a little necklace action. And is that a brand new necklace? I think it might be there. And of course, you remove the head, that necklace will come off. A beautiful haircut. Looks like my haircut about five years ago. Maybe I should go back to that hairstyle. We'll see. Maybe one of these days sooner rather than later. Looking good on the bare arms here. Of course, got a little wrappings on the hand there in white. Got a little handkerchief over here on the left hand. And then you got his tattoos on the left. And then he got a wristband, or I should say a bicep band over here looking really nice. This is his first elite figure for those keeping track at home. And of course, his articulation will be the same as everybody else, just like Zelina. You do get a beautiful soft goods LWO shirt. And the beauty of this one is it can be removed, of course. It's Velcro, snaps in the back, all that kind of stuff. But you can make other members of the LWO move this around, trade it around. You can really choose your own adventure here. So a nice shirt there. Beautiful styling, very decorative uh, pants on this one here. You got Del Toro on his butt of course but a lot of good colors in those tights very very nice looking sharp against plain jane white boots sometimes less is more looks really good with the tights with just the white on this one here pinned uh, knees on this one here but uh, pinless elbows like i do like it over here of course and the shirt is totally removable got a little tear right here little v going in there but looking nice old uh cruz del toro cruising along in the lwo and he should fit on a stand as well what do you know? He does. And I believe we had a figure of him way back when. Is this the same guy? I don't even know if it is. Is this Cruz del Toro previously? I know it was LWO previously. I think it was Raul Mendoza or something like that. Could be the case there, but uh, there you go. Yeah, Sometimes that's the way it goes from time to time. But I got a suited version over here, I think, or is it? I don't need to look that up. I can't. I'm just, uh, I'm drawing a blank right here. But the LWO Rocking on in a sleeper figure. He might be the uh, least known of the group, at least, but one of the best figures here. I do like this one a lot, and I love it when somebody gets an elite figure for the first time, hopefully not last time in the line. And I guess next we'll go to his tag team partner over here, Joaquin Wild, old school DJZ. He got two gripping hands out of the package. We're used to that. Gloved gripping hands over here. Two fists of LWO Fury on this one as well. You do got the LWO tank top this time. So some differences between our LWO shirts. We do appreciate that, of course. Looking good. Latino world order. Uh, pinless joints on this one again. I guess we'll walk through the articulation on this one. Halfway there. Might as well do it. Arms all the way around for us. Bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows. You know those are the hits I like to be played. Hands back and forth, side to side. Head back and forth, side to side. Waist articulation, ab crunch. Big old Joaquin Wild splits, kinda, kinda. Leg, let's see here. Leg does go up. A little of that Mattel bounce back still going on there. Not exactly sure why it's so tight in the hips these days. Thigh cut, double jointed pin knees for those keeping track at home. Boot cut, ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down. Now this is interesting too. He does got the bicep band over here. Plus a bunch of tattoos on the left arm as well for him. Very colorful trunks design here down into his knee pads. He's got wild on the back. So in case somebody tries to seal him out of his locker, hey, those are mine. It's got my name on it. He's got that going on. And a very nice uh, boots on here. White with dashes of black. Very Aztec-like, I guess, uh, for lack of better terms there. Uh, but another good-looking figure. Head sculpt looks like Joaquin Wilde. Got to the end of that perm hair at the top. Got the uh, uh, decorations in the side. He got that. When I was a kid one time, I got A's in here. It was 1989. They just won the World Series. Had to go get a haircut. And I told that barber, I said, put A's in the side of my head. I'm still celebrating. And he's like, celebrate one. I said, the Oakland A's victory. And he said, son, we're in the Midwest. And I said, barber, I don't care. Put A's in the side of my head. And uh, that's exactly what happened there. But uh, it was a great day at the office. It was a great day at school trying to explain, why do you have A's in your hair? Why did... He put the apostrophe in there. But people were like, why did you write A's in there? No, it's A's. I should have just went all the way around and put Oakland Athletics. I should have done that. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. 
But uh, the former DJZ, Joaquin Wild, first time in the elite line, looking pretty good here today. Fitting on a ringside stand. Oh, very tight, but it is. There it is, fitting on the stand right there. And, of course, I believe we got him right here in uh, La Fantasma Delgado. Delgado La Fantasma. I believe that's what it was called. Got that from back in the day, part of the basics line way back when. Looking good right there. So we keep going on, and we're going to go to Rey Mysterio. Of course, Rey Mysterio, usually uh, the most uh, out there for most of these groups. You know, always kind of front and center. But Rey, front and center, of course, a lot of it revolves around his storylines. But I always felt he gave the rest of the group a lot of shine, a lot of time. He laid back a lot more than some do with some of their teams. So shout out to Ray for that. And Ray, no stranger to action figures, but this is about as plain Jane of a Ray as we've ever got, which is a welcome thing. It doesn't always have to be spectacular. This is pretty cool right here. Now, Ray, of course, two fists of fury out of the package, two gripping hands, tattooed hands, of course, with Ray. A little bit comically big on the hand department. Man, these hands are just as big. And we know from the old playground back in the day, if your hand is as big as your head, that means you have cancer. And unfortunately, Ray Mysterio has double cancer because both heads or both hands are bigger than his hands, as we can see here. Comically big. They need to get some female hands. I know it's a little bit uh, a little bit hurtful, I'm sure, but he does need female hands or something because these are comically large on him. But it is Rey Mysterio all tatted up like normal here. All kinds of tattoos going on in his arm. All black and white, though. Doesn't he have some color in some of his tattoos? Or maybe I'm dreaming that. Who knows? But he's tatted up like crazy all the way down to his hands. you got the black wrist tape going on. LWO soft good shirt. A different LWO shirt once again. That is pretty cool as well. Latino World Order, it does say on the shirt, as you can imagine. Got a little blue in the shoes down here looking very nice. He's got his blue jeans going on. Shirt's removable, I should mention that. And then we got a new mask for Ray here. This doesn't look bad. It almost looks like... Uh, Uno from the Dark Order kind. He's kind of got that like shark mouth thing going on there. But it's a Rey Mysterio mask all day. You're not going to be confused who this is. You're going to know this is Rey Mysterio. Just don't call him Junior anymore. That's what it is. And of course, his articulation can be identical to everybody else. That's the theme of these sets. But I didn't bring him bring a Ray to compare to because there's a million different Rays out there. But I did bring an LWO member of the past. Of course, once again, from a Target box set back in the day. It is the LWO Eddie Guerrero. A lot to be desired on this figure right here of course would have been nice to have a soft good shirt these crazy chico and the man bell bottoms going on down here i don't know what's going on with that the eddie head sculpt's not terrible for the time but definitely is one that could use an improvement this is what i want to see in the greatest hits line give us a new head sculpt give us soft goods give us better jeans that's a greatest hits we want in the line we don't necessarily need just a straight re-release of this let's give let's give it some new pizzazz that's what we need for eddie guerrero right there so there's old ray there's uh, Eddie Guerrero as well as we're cruising on. No pun intended, Cruz del Toro. Uh, we're moving on the list right here, Ray and Eddie. Now we're going to finish it with Santos Escobar. And I guess there always has to be a breakout star of every single team. Santos was that star. They fed it here. He was part of the team. He turned on Ray. Now he's got his own team. That's how these units usually work in the WWE and wrestling in general, as we do know. He also gets the majority of the hands right here. Two Fists of Fury out of the package. Two gripping hands, and then you got two splayed out hands looking very nice. Got his wedding ring going on. And Santos and I, fast friends at WrestleMania 39. I was sitting there looking at Eddie's low rider, and he came next to me and said, Oh man, this is just amazing. He talked a little bit, and he's like, Man, I really like your shirt and stuff. And so we talked back and forth. Uh, had a good time talking to him. I didn't even realize it was him at first. And I said, Santos, man, I really enjoy your stuff. And that was when he was in Hot and Heavy in NXT. Really enjoyed my time talking with Santos Escobar. Really nice individual. So shout out to Santos. I'm sure you're watching. I'm sure you're watching. Or maybe not. But we got Santos here. Not Santos's first elite, as we do know. Uh, we'll bring that out here in a second. But once again, got the LWO shirt looking good in the soft goods. I'm all about the soft goods shirts. You guys know that. You got a little uh, bandanas or bandanas. How about bicep tape around there? Got the skulls going on. Looking very nice. Tattoos going there as well. No color in the tattoos. Uh, you do got the white wrist tape, and then you got this beautiful. I absolutely love his uh, boots here. You got the little that fringe up there at the top. I really think that adds a lot to it. Got kind of that Aztec design as well. Gold color. You got LDF on his knee pads there, representing his squad, of course. Nice coloring on the tights as well on here. Long hair going on. 
A, a sly smile once again. He looks like a guy that's up to something. Looks like a guy that might turn on the LWO team, and that's exactly what he did, of course. But does look really nice, and like I said, he was kind of the standout of the group. Now, currently, of course, a member of SmackDown, wrestling pretty much every week for the most part on SmackDown. So hopefully good things around the corner for Santos Escobar. Hopefully we get an Electra Lopez to go with him, hopefully sooner rather than later. And of course, he has the same articulation as everybody else, and he also fits on a ringside stand like everybody else. So shout out to old Santos Escobar right here. A very good figure, and of course, we got his last one. Now, his last one was a bit of a two-in-one. As you could buy a second one, he did come with his mask. So you could have him masked or unmasked, old screw crew. Old school cruiserweight title, remember those days? Uh, so it's nice to get an updated version of Santos Escobar. I do like that they also gave him the long hair down this time instead of up in a bun. Make him as different as possible. That's what the Mattel team did right there. So I'm definitely here for that. All day long and twice on Sunday. You know how we do it over here. But we got the LWO rocking strong. I absolutely do love this set. A very fun idea. A way to get some elite figures out for some characters that maybe wouldn't get them without a box set like this. There's just a lot to like about a set like this. And I would love, like I said at the beginning, to see more sets like this in the future. Your mind runs wild. Could we get the Varsity Club from way back in the day? Uh, there's a lot of different incarnations of teams over the years that would really work good in this kind of a pack. Especially if they had the themed packaging design to it. Would just be very, very fun, and I would love to see more of this stuff in the future. And by all things we're seeing right now, we're seeing a lot of that. So Targets, Walmart's uh, predominantly the place we're going to see that. Maybe more Mattel Creations, maybe more Ringside Collectibles. It'll be interesting to see what the future holds for some of these nice box sets. But man, I'm here for it, especially for groups like this. Really, really fun set right here. Definitely worth a pickup. If you're collecting uh, LWO, you're collecting Elites, Mattels, and you want some first-time-in-the-line characters, this is going to be a set for you. So a fun, fun set with the LWO. But what do you think? Is this set a pickup for you? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bells. we got videos every single day. And then some. we got even more content for you, of course, on Patreon. Patreon, early access to both YouTube channel videos, monthly Q giveaways, monthly Q&As, bonus stuff, all kinds of stuff over there on the old Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProStandTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for the LWO, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.